Hi everyone, this is Nicole from Bouquets by Nicole. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my peacock um, bouquet. It's going to be made with deluxe roses and gold brooches. The colors that I'm using today, um, like I said, it is a peacock bouquet and the colors are usually purple, royal blue, emerald green. So I'm using some purple ro deluxe roses. Um, as I love using these roses now, they are just so easy to use and I think they're so beautiful. And I'm also using the dark green and turquoise. I was thinking about using some royal blue, but I'm not sure. I don't think um, royal blue is needed since I'm using the turquoise. So let's see how this turns out. Um, I'm using gold brooches. Um, this is a really large brooch here that I'm using, but it's not going to be in the final picture because someone just purchased that brooch. So <laughs> I didn't get to finish the video with this brooch, but when I started, this is the brooch I was going to use, the one in the middle, the large one, but I had to change it. So you'll see when we get to the end. So I'm using these other two um, drop down brooches, which is going to create like that cascade um effect well i guess you can look at the picture i have on the video now and you can see that i changed the middle brooch but it's still beautiful i love how it turned out and um, i have some other brooches here all of these brooches are on sale at bouquets by nicole you don't have to purchase them in the kit you can purchase them individually and that really large brooch i held up before um the silver is on sale for 14.99 okay here's my styrofoam ball and my wooden holder i have the those assembled already I'm going to be using um, purple ribbon at the base of this bouquet because I love purple <laughs> no I mean you can use any one of the colors because all of the roses are going to be on the baseline but I just had purple nearby so I'm using purple and this is a really dark pretty purple I just love it so I'm going to use that at the base just to, you know, hide the styrofoam half ball. You know, I always do this with my videos um, so that, you know, if there are any gaps in between the roses, the only thing you'll see is the ribbon. Now, because I'm using these other colors, um, I'm going to have to really squeeze the flowers together so that you won't see the purple next to the other colors because that'll look really weird. So, but that's no problem. With these deluxe roses, um, they're pretty um, flexible. So I can just stretch it and glue them together so that you won't see the purple ribbon. But seeing the purple ribbon is a whole lot better than seeing the white styrofoam. But I'll fix it so that the purple won't be shown. So you just want to glue your ribbon around the baseline. It doesn't have to be neat because the leaves are going to cover the bottom of the bouquet. So you just want to make sure it's secured. Just glue it down. Um, you can use the skinny ribbon that comes with the kit or you can use the um, wide 2 inch width. I usually send a whole lot of the 2 inch well, it's a lot of ribbon included in the kits anyway, so you always have extras. So you can use either the um, 2 inch or the 1 inch. I would say use the 2 inch because you're going to have a lot more of that than the skinny ribbon. Okay, so that's just about done. And then I'm going to start gluing my roses onto my styrofoam ball. And here we go. With my purple, oh, I just love these purple roses. I just love them. Purple is my new color for some reason. <laughs> Look at my nails. Everything is purple. <laughs> my phone case is purple. I, I'm just, yeah, purple is my color now. Purple and lavender. Okay, so I'm just going to glue my flowers onto my half ball. Like so. All right, I'm back. So, remember I told you I was going to use purple as my dominant color here. So I have purple leaves underneath the bouquet. I need a few more leaves. So let me show you how to make the leaves. You just put a little bit of glue here and about a six inch length of the two inch ribbon, the wide ribbon. And 
We just put a little bit of glue. Like so. And I think that should be enough. And then I usually just cut the bottom into a V to get rid of some of the ribbon. So let's finish this up so we can get to the decorating. Just put a little bit of glue there. And sometimes I like my roses to touch my leaves. That way you won't see any of, you know, anything in between the gaps because you never know what you'll see there. Maybe some glue or, you know, so just hide all of the ugly. So sometimes I just put a little glue in between, you know, the roses and the leaves to connect them. And this is my last leaf. So I usually just put glue on the last one like that. Put a little bit of glue here. Like that. And just pull it up a little bit. Okay. So my leaves are in place. I'm definitely going to put some glue here to stick that next to the flower. Sometimes I put my finger in like that. Just hold it for a little bit. Told you I'm into the purple. I don't know. Purple and lavender. Look at my nail colors. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so we want to cover the bottom of our wooden holder. So you just cut a piece of ribbon into circular pattern. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Just enough to cover the bottom. And just put a little bit of glue there. To stick like that. Okay. And then you want to take your skinny ribbon. And I forgot to cut a piece off, so there goes. Take your skinny ribbon. Wrap it tightly on your wooden holder. Remember to put... Like that. It's pretty. Okay, and then we'll go on with the other one on the side as well. Make sure they're even. Trying, trying to stick these pins. Okay, that one there. And this one will go behind here. Like that. 